Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. Today we are here at Porsche Center Brabant for a quite special introduction of the new Porsche 911. It is cold outside, so let's get inside. And before we get into the real business of the new Porsche 911 992.2 GTS, we've got to admire this Carrera GT just chilling here in the service department. You can also get a closer look into the engine carbon fiber parts that's just beautiful so the two for which we are here today are still under the cover but more to come later on in this video stay tuned we also got Porsche 911 the GT3 Mentai racing with 510 horsepower which is absolutely a beast around the Nürburgring I just like this fixed wing and these wheels with the carbon fiber panels and the interior is also so classy so clean with all the Alcantara the racing seats the red details the red seat belts also beautiful it is just beautiful from every angle got this Porsche 911 Speedster which is 15 years old of today and this car is still valued around 330,000 euros Talk about a good investment. Now we're here in Porsche's big meeting room where during a normal week weekday important meetings take place but now I am here sitting with lots of Porsches behind me to give some commentary about the newest addition to the 911 family. I'm going to record my voiceovers here to review the new 911 Carrera for a GTS which is downstairs but there is a lot of noise and music in the room over there so I am not able to film the commentary I would like to do 60 years ago the first Porsche 911 was introduced on the market today we are 60 years later and we are coming to a important change in the industry Porsche is adding a new hybrid T hybrid system into the Porsche 911 so if we are talking specifications this car has 541 horsepower and goes from 0 to 100 in just 3 seconds on a flat straight. This while giving 610 Nm of torque, the car has rear wheel steering to improve 
driving stability. So just like the Porsche 919 Hybrid, the 400 volt battery is used to optimize performance. And we've got a new 3.6 liter flat six uh, with an electric turbo via the Porsche PDK electro motor. So basically we've got more power into the 911, which is an additional 59 horsepower. The top speed is 312 kilometers hour. Porsche still kept the iconic Porsche 911 design, but just slightly upgraded some of the parts on the car. We've got a new updated front bumper. We've got a new updated rear diffuser with the exhaust pipes being more centered. And the thing with a car like this, the 911, is one of the most famous sports car. And with a design like that, which is being recognized by everyone, you don't need to change the whole design. You just slightly upgrade a few things and keep up with the technology and cars that are being produced today. So there's no need for a whole change in uh, looks, etc. Because the car is already perfect. If something is perfect, you don't need to change it. One thing that is also important is the price. The price starts from 207,000 euros, but that is without options. So if you want some ceramic brakes, some more additional options uh, on your car, you are easily coming to 250,000 euros. And that is not even with the registration and road tax included. So in Belgium, you will probably be around 300,000 euros to just get the car on the road. You're not even driving. So even though it has a big price tag, considering you have the money, you don't need to look at it, and you want to go for something that is just quality, yeah, just go for it. But keep in mind that we also have alternatives like the Ferrari 296, and the Porsche will still be just the regular Porsche 911, even though you know it's a crazy good car. Time to go back to the showroom. And excuse me, if somebody left the door open, I will close it. So in this showroom are lots of Porsche models. We've got the GT3 RS over there, but we've got an older generation here, GT4 RS. If you just had to pick one of these, which one would you pick? I'm more a fan of the GT4 RS. In my opinion, it just looks like a bit sleeker. This one looks real big. But this one looks real, real good. You also got the interior here, the racing seats of Wysak RS and the yellow details are just absolutely beautiful. And I don't know, if you look at it from the sides, this one is just a smidge more aggressive. This one is more like rounded. I like the, I like the GT4 RS. So to give a perspective, I was in the boardroom over here doing my commentary but well, everyone over there is having a chat. And you thought that one Carrera GT was rare. Oh man, that car looks so beautiful. But over here, we've got a Tom Taram keeping the tension. Another Carrera GT, but this one in red, which is, if I'm not wrong, a quite special co color to see on a Carrera GT. And if we look under it, we've got the whole body covered in a carbon fiber panel. Wow, and if we walk under it, it just goes straight on through. Wow. Wow. Yes, may I have the opportunity to step into the spider already. Wow. To see the refs go all the way up to 10,000 is quite a unique view let's close it this is a vehicle i can quite see as a uh, business vehicle to drive to work the porsche spider rs it just sits so low and then we've got this clock sitting on the dashboard if my camera wants to focus which is quite classy and just gives that authentic porsche feeling also with these like straps to close the door wow small net to put some things in here we've got of course the manual looking transmission but it is an automatic to keep the authentic look and these are racing seats of Wysak with a wind net 
to optimize driving. So with this view, I'm going to end today's video. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like, and subscribe, and let me know what you think of that new Porsche 911 Carrera 4 GTS. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.